If you are planning to buy an ultrasound machine, this video is for you. Hi everyone, Mahin here. Welcome to Imaging Study. Usually in large medical centers, machine sellers contact with the higher authority to sell their machines. You really get opportunity to choose your favorite one. But if you are the owner or you are the person to choose the machine for buying, as it's common in our South Asian subcontinent, I don't know about others, then here is my five important tips that you should know before buying. Make sure I have a tiny experience of dealing with ultrasound buying and selling. So hopefully this will be helpful for you. Number one, when a seller or clinical expert demonstrate their product, they usually show you the scan of the liver or kidney. Nowadays, every machine can provide better images of those organs. But the main problem begins when you try to scan the pelvic organs with convex transducer. It makes a huge difference among ultrasound units. So let's try to check the grayscale images of uterus, ovaries, or prostate. In case of uterus, check how beautiful the endometrium looks. Or in case of ovary, check the resolution of follicles. Lastly, for the prostate, check how much detail of parenchyma can you see. Another number two. If your machine has Doppler functionality, then you'll see the clinical experts or sellers will demonstrate to you Doppler quality of the neck vessels. These are large vessels and all Doppler enabled machines are good for common carotid artery Doppler. If you are a Doppler ultrasound practitioner, you know how much difficulties you face to get a good renal or infrarenal aorta Doppler pictures. So let's check aorta and renal vessels. If your machine can give a good renal arterial spectrum, you are very lucky. Tips number three. It's again about the Doppler. Your machine should have a good amount of frame rate so that you can comfortably do deeper structure Doppler. This is a very important part where the high-end machines differ each other. What you have to do is just to take the convex transducer, increase the depth, widen the color box. Now check how much slowness happens. Good machine with high frame rate will show very smooth pictures. There will be no lagging at all. You are actually using a lot of frames. So here, low frame rate machines will show slowness in the screen. Even sometimes lagging may occur. This is just like the feeling of using a cheap laggy mobile phone and a high-end smartphone. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to follow us on other social platforms. Number four, the software license. This is a hidden feature that your seller uses for some extra business with you. While buying an ultrasound machine, you see some fancy options available in your machine like elastography or 3D functionality, especially the high quality 3D pictures and many more. When you buy a machine, you are paying for everything. You are the owner of that unit. But the seller may give you the software license for around one year to three years, depending on your warranty period. I even have found machines sold with trial version of 3D or Illustrography, which is very ridiculous. They will charge you some maintenance fee and will trick with you to extend the license duration. This is one of the worst experiences I have ever seen while buying an ultrasound machine. So before giving the clearance, don't forget to check your software license and their duration from the about or setting options of your machine. Tips number five. Now about the 3D. Seller will always try to convince you with their fancy 3D images. They will show you some best quality saved 3D images, but you cannot provide those saved images to your patients. You have to take those pictures yourself. So try to check 3D options, especially the editing tools before buying. The post-processing is the most important part of 3D ultrasound. So check the cutting tool option, threshold, smoothening, opacity, and any other options that you want to use while post-processing those ultrasound images. If you try to edit much, then some poor quality machines will get stuck and even may need to get restarted to use again. So it's very important to check the editing options before buying. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully these tips will be helpful for you, not only for buying an ultrasound machine, but also for knowing your machine. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.